Hello and welcome. In this session, we are going to learn about collections in Postman and I will go very basic and we will see what is collection, how to create collection, we will learn how to create folders inside collection and arrange our requests and we will see all the different options and features of collection. So let's get started and in very very simple words collection is a group of API requests so whenever you want to group some of your API requests together in a logical category or some particular sequence you can use collections and I will go to my postman so this is my postman on my desktop and if you want to use you can also use the uh, web version so you can use postman on your browser as well so here in the earlier sessions we created a collection called demo apis and i stored all my demo api requests inside this collection so let me now go and create a new collection so make sure that you are in your workspace so i'm in my workspace and here i will get a option for collections and here we have a plus button to create a new collection i will click on this plus button and here you can see it gives me this window here where I can create a collection so let me call this as new collection you can give any name here and you will also see some options here for example if you want to keep a common authorization for all the requests inside this particular collection you can give the authorization here so if all my APIs need some common authorization I can give it at a collection level similarly if you want to run some pre-request scripts before all the requests in this particular collection you can give it here and similarly if you want to run any tests after you get the response for all the requests that are there in this collection we can give the test scripts here and similarly we have a option for adding variables at a collection label we can also share this collection and you can see some other options here and here is the documentation you can give some description to your collection and let me now show you all these options so I have created this collection and now if I go here you can see the here you can see three dots and a star so star is to just to make it favorite and sometimes when you have a lot of collections and you want to work with a particular collection you can make it favorite so that it comes at the top so you can see as soon as I will click on this star it comes at the top here so you can make your collection favorite so that it comes at the top and then you can work on it and then if I click on these three dots so here you can see view more actions I will click here and we have all these options here you can share the collection so if I click on share you can share with some specific people by giving the email or you can just copy the link of the collection and you can see options to run in postman or via json link and then I will go to more options we have option to move the collection within your workspaces so if you want to move this collection to different workspace you can do that as well then we have option here to run collection so if I click on run collection you can run all the requests inside this collection now as of now this collection does not have any requests so let me just go to the earlier collection that we created in the earlier session I will click on these three dots and say run collection and you can see all the APIs inside this collection are here and you can set the iteration if you want to have some delay in milliseconds we can say add here if you want to get data from some file we can do that as well and then we have these options save responses keep variable values run collection without stored cookies and all these options so here I will click on run the collection and you can see it is running all the requests and you can see the view summary of all these requests so here we can see all the details if your APIs have some test they will also be shown here and you can see green or red will be displayed only when there are any tests in your API request if they do not have any test then it will be marked as uh, there will be no color that means there is no test to mark it as pass or fail so you can run a collection like this and then you will see option to edit collection if you want to edit on any of this information you can directly add a request to the collection so when you click on add request you will not have to save the request separately it will directly get added to this collection so you can do like that and then you will see option to add folders so sometimes inside the collection you want to keep your 
API requests categorized into folders, specific folders. So you can do that as well. And then you can just move the API inside the folder. So you can now see this API request has moved to a folder inside the collection. And then we have option to monitor collection. So sometimes if you want to monitor all the APIs in the collection, you can set up a monitor, you can give some name to the monitor. And then here you can set the time or the schedule. If you want to run weekly, hourly, whatever time you want, you can set from here and every day at a specific time. And then you can also set up email notifications. So if there will be any failures or any issues while running off this collection and all the API requests inside the collection, you will get an email notification. So you can create a monitor like that. And then if I go and check other options, so if I go back, you can create a fork. So fork is like a copy of the collection and sometimes it is needed if you want to uh, make some changes or do some additions, enhancements in the collection, but do not want to uh, disturb the original collection so that uh, so if anything goes wrong you can revert back to the original collection in that case you can create a fork and work on the new copy then if you want to see the documentation of the collection you can go here and see all the documentation and if you want you can click on open request and it will take you directly to the request of the collection and then i will go back to the options and you can rename you can duplicate you can export as well so if i click on export you can export your collection it will be exported or downloaded as a json file and then you can share using uh, that json file and we have already seen that you can directly share as well and then there is an option to delete if you want to delete the collection you can delete from here and it will ask you for confirmation delete and after you delete your collection or any other element or component you can go to the trash so if you click on these three dots at the top you will see a option open trash if i go here you can see this collection i deleted and here you can see here resources will be removed from the trash automatically after one day so for a free account after one day all the resources which are there in the trash gets removed so if you want you can delete directly permanently from here or we can also restore it so if i say if i go here and say restore it will come back to my collection uh, inside my workspace so i can select where i want to restore it in which workspace and i will say restore and this will come back to my workspace so if i go back to my home or let me just go back to my workspace and here you will see i have got the new collection here so this is what collection is and this is how we can use collection and different options there are a lot of things that we can do and we will learn them in the coming sessions i hope this session was very useful for you i will see you in the next session of postman thank you for watching and never stop learning.